Hey y'all, so I wanted to go ahead and start this video. Um, when we get home, I will show you guys a grocery haul. So I just got done doing groceries at Walmart. I'm at a stoplight. And um, I also ran to Lowe's and I got this piece of wood that's back here. I don't know if y'all can see it. So I didn't think this project all the way through. The wood is kind of too small for it to be a bench. And it's not, um, I mean, no one's gonna be sitting on it. It was just kind of for like aesthetics. But it's too small to be a bench and i didn't think this whole thing through because the idea that i had was i kind of wanted to start making our hall tree we have this little area in our kitchen from our garage that um i want to kind of make a hall tree right there to actually buy a hall tree that's gonna fit that space perfectly it's like four hundred dollars and i'm just not i'm not gonna spend that at all so i was gonna like start building it and my idea was to start with a shelf on top and put hooks at the bottom but i don't know how that's gonna turn out so um i got lowe's basically to cut a piece of wood and i didn't know that if you got them to cut it they literally only had to cut like an inch off but since I got them to cut it, they aren't allowed to take it back. <laughs> so now I'm kind of stuck with the wood and it was like $25 um, for the wood and the hooks. So I'm just like, well, I got to figure out something to do with it because I'm not going to waste 25 whole dollars. Y'all know I ain't. So <laughs> that is my dilemma right now. So I will show you guys what I come up with when we get home. I wanted to show y'all what I got from Walmart. So I got the kids some diapers. These chicken breasts, I'm gonna divide those up into separate bags. Some bacon for BLTs and just breakfast. Some Kobe Jack cheese sticks. This was actually the last pack. I got some ice cream sandwiches, some Welch's fruit snacks, pears, some sparkling water, the strawberry. I think that, yeah, that's a strawberry. I got some bananas. I like to put those in smoothies and I'm gonna start making smoothies for the kids as well some keto chocolate trail mix some greek light and fit yogurt a carton of milk i got these cookies i know they're not good for you but yeah i got these <laughs> chocolate chunk cookies some strawberries i'm gonna cut up here shortly and some baby spinach i also got these baked lays i figured these were a little bit healthier for the kids <laughs> I got some Slim Jims. I got the big one because the kids like those as well. I got some bread for BLTs and also some tomatoes. And I already have like the, um, what do you call it? Cheese here. <laughs> Gotta hold on to me I remember the sound Of us being loud So loud So loud Just wonder where you're walking and talking Thinking are you the same Wonder how you're doing and moving Through the crowds every day over here and check on the kids really fast but i wanted to show you all the finished product of the um shelf that i built this is our garage door right here and then i put this little shelf up and i put some decor on it and i'm loving it so far um we're gonna get our shoe rack is still down here now i'll get back so y'all can see the whole thing but eventually we'll get a bench that goes down here he doesn't have on any pants <laughs> <laughs> and he just ran in front of the camera but we'll put a bench um down there eventually and it'll be so cute but that's what we got going it is 1 30 right now so i'm getting a little late start but i washed the baby's bouncer sheet wash it and get it all as clean as i can so i washed this as well it, it is looking really good and it doesn't smell like milk anymore because that's what spilled in it is milk and she also pooped. So I'm going to try to go with a stain remover and get the rest of that off. But it didn't come off in the washer. And then I'm going to add this back to the bouncer. It is in the guest room in here. I need to also clean up and straighten up the living room. It's a beautiful 
day outside. I don't know if y'all can really see, but it is beautiful outside. The wind's blowing. You can't beat it. But here's the little bouncer thing, and I'm about to just put that cover on it. There's Kaysen. He just got up, and Autumn is right there still coming down the steps. I'm about to do her hair and put her on some clothes as well. So our day isn't really considered busy for me because I do this kind of stuff every single day. It's a part of my routine at this point. I handle it, my husband drives over the road. So it's just me, solo mom doing it, duty and get all the time. And I've learned how to just rock it, thrive through it. Yes, my kids have tantrums. Yes, my kids have fits like all the other kids. My house does stay pretty clean because I'm crazy and I stay on top of it. But this is mom life, this is every day. So let's tackle this day together, guys. I just gotta know. These are the little Halloween fruit snacks. I found them at Walmart, so I got a big pack of those. And for lunch, they are just having a cheese stick, chicken nuggets, mixed fruit, and also some fruit snacks. And they have their little good to grow, these little Spider-Man, and she has the princess one for their drinks. I also sit their tablets at the table. I'm starting to do this a little bit during lunchtime because I want them to get some extra learning activities in. So it's just teaching her the alphabet. And his is more of like a little game because he's so little, but you just like press the stuff on there and it does little things. But I've played with both of them and they're safe. These are just the kids' Amazon tablets. I do these with them because she is in speech and it helps her to learn her ABCs and I figure that is so cool but I'm about to get her hair done and put her on some pants. I told y'all that we have been potty training so that's why she is always halfway dressed but I won't show anything obviously that's indecent. Y'all get the point. <laughs> I just sat winter down right here while I'm about to do Autumn's hair. It's like time flies, but it still hurts. Oh, you're moving on. I know by your tone. While I'm moving backwards. Just wonder where you're walking and talking. Thinking, are you the same? Wonder how you're doing and moving through the crowds that we Press it. Big D, big, big. Good job. Is that big D? Good job, baby. Are you smiling, Mama? Hey, beautiful girl. Hey, beautiful girl. I love you so much, Mama. Hey. <laughs> Let's see what happened to yours, bud. There we go. Look. Big dreams. Got your volume turned up. Oh way. this big 
big old pile of laundry to do. I typically never do laundry in the living room or even bring laundry down here because all of our bedrooms that we use besides the guest bedroom is um, upstairs. So I need to do this big old pile of laundry. So I'm gonna time lapse me getting it all done. <laughs> Before I do laundry, I wanted to tell you guys before I forget, the kids all have like a little case of eczema, all three of them. So their doctor gave me this like eczema relief, it's like cream to try. They gave me a bunch of samples, like 10 of them. And they also gave me the body wash and shampoo. So I went and bought a big jug of it. Um, well, it's not a big jug, but it was like $8 for the um, body wash and shampoo mix. I love stuff that's like a one um, bottle and it gets everything done. So I bought this, it's the baby, um, the Eucerin. Here I go saying um again. It's the Eucerin and I will be putting that on their skin. You tell me you're scared. You tell me you're weak. What you think And I know it's hard Yeah, I know it's rough But we'll make it That's lavender, by the way. For calmness, I know. We um, are at Chick fil A right now because I am not cooking dinner tonight. I'm not even in the mood to cook any dinner. But we just left Target. I don't even know if I told y'all that we went to Target, but if I didn't, I did tell Instagram. So make sure y'all are following me on there because you get more like in the moment stuff. We went to Target because I just needed some retail therapy. My kids were having it out, and I just needed some me time. So we went to Target and I got a lot of stuff. Well, not too much stuff. I spent like 60 bucks, but I got things for some decor in the house and they were all like in the dollar spot, but you know that stuff adds up. And now we're just getting some dinner at Chick-fil-A because I am not about to be cooking. I just don't even feel like cooking. And um, yeah, I'm just not. The kids are chilling back there. They cut up a little bit like I don't even know what else what more I expect at this point like today was just a rough day I just got our chick-fil-a I got a diet dr. pepper I've just been all off of Kia and <laughs> I got to give the kids their food so I'm about to get back there and give them their food really fast what I got from Target. So this actually came from the Dollar General. I'm gonna hang these shelves up in our bathroom is my plan. But this was in the dollar spot for only $5 and it turns as well. And I'm gonna put this in the living room. I'll show you guys if I remember or if I do it tonight. I got these two pairs of shoes, a black pair and this beige for only $7 and like 50 cents. And I will wear these shoes all year long, but I just got two pair because they were on sale. I also got these two like dress little jumpers for winter. This was um, like $4. I got this to go in this stand as well. I thought that would be cute with a plant. So let me show y'all. I thought that would be cute in there with like a plant and the picture and the black. I'll have to see how it looks when I get over there, but I thought that would be cute. And I got this to change out. It was only $5 in dollar spot as well. I got my hair is looking a hot mess. <laughs> I am getting ready to do my skincare for the night. And I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit. So the kids are down for bed and I, I'm using my oldie but a goodie little cheap spin brush instead of my other one because I need to clean the brushes on that one but y'all if you missed my last video then make sure you go and check that video out where I talked about 
um, me and starting real estate school. I'm so thirsty. And this is one of my favorite waters between Fiji water and Dasani. I love both of them. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite water is. And don't say they're all the same because they aren't. <laughs> but I'm about to just do my little skincare. Y'all know my tried and true skincare that I always use. The Pavonia, my um, hydrating green tea serum, the Sunday Riley hydration cream. I've been using these for a long time. When they run out though, I probably will, well I'm pretty sure that I will be finding something else. My husband bought this for me at um, the company that he is working with and I just used that and it was very expensive so I will be finding something cheaper because my skin isn't that high maintenance. Let me tell y'all, the devil is so busy. Like, y'all know that I am in real estate school and school has never been something that has just been super easy for me. It's always been hard and tonight I start on math. You can take breaks, but I'm kind of doing school a little bit every day so I can stay on track and stay focused. And I've, I'm on math right now, and it is a lot. It's like bringing you back decimals, converting them to fractions or percentages, all kinds of crap. And it really got me frustrated because I was like, you know, YouTube is my true holy grail passion. It's what I love doing. That's why I started this channel. I'm very consistent with it. I put a lot of time and effort in it. But it's always good to have something else besides social media. And even if you only have social media, that's fine as well. But you know what I'm saying. I want something personally for myself. And YouTube is something that I don't know the future of it for me. Um, I also don't know if I will be making a substantial amount of money because my channel is just growing slow. And I do obviously pray for my channel and I pray that it does amazing things but i just wanted to try something else and do something else including youtube for just for me and just for my peace of mind and because i have so many kids and a family and we're under one income and i wanted to do real estate i love looking at houses i love the basics of real estate but there's a lot more into it than just looking at houses which i knew but it is very hard and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's hard for me, I don't know if it's hard for everyone else. And so far, I'm only in day three and I, my mind is just, psh. I'm keeping going on because money has been invested, time has been invested and I know I can do it, but there's always this little voice, this little devil in the back of my head that's like, you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna finish it, but I'm keeping on pushing, I'm keeping my faith. And I'm just trying so hard, guys, because I want this so bad for me, for my family, and I'm just trying so hard. I can't even explain how hard that I'm pushing myself and trying because I want this so bad. Some things are just super easy for other people and they're not for others. And that's something that I have to realize. But I just got all the makeup off of my face and y'all, I went and got my heated blanket out because I'm an old lady <laughs> and I get so cold at nighttime but I still keep the air on because when I walk into my kids rooms they always kick the cover off of them because their rooms get hotter than other rooms in the house. I don't know why it's like that but it's been like that in basically like every house I've ever lived in. One room is just always hotter. And their rooms just happen to get the free fall for it. So I keep the air on for that reason. And it's really, oh, that was a piece of hair. I was like, what was that? And it's really honestly not that, it's not like fall for real, for real yet. It is cooler here than it typically is, but it's not like cold to the point where I would be like, you know, pushing it. But I'm putting on my serum. It's just like a hydrating serum. Gives you that glow. Gives you some moisture in your face. 
and I wear this at night. It doesn't heavy up much. It does have a little strong smell, but it doesn't smell bad. So I got my head blanket out and I've already plugged it up, ready for me to get in bed. I'm gonna read some of Proverbs tonight because my mom has us read in Proverbs, the whole chapter of Proverbs. And so far I've been enjoying it. It tells you about how you should not fear anyone except for the Lord and stay away from people that try to get you to do things that you know you shouldn't be doing, like malicious things and bad things, sinful things. So it's really good. I highly recommend reading it if you're into that kind of stuff. I'm not perfect by any means, but I do definitely try to stay strong in my faith and to always do the right thing, be an honest person and things like that. And it'll get you very far in life. So I'm about to go and read that. I actually just go on the internet and I type in Proverbs and it will actually read it out loud to you. So that's even better. You just read it out loud when you're about to fall asleep. So they're hung up in here. This is our toilet room, by the way. <laughs> but they look way bigger in person. Like, let me put my hand on one. Yeah, they're way bigger in person than they're showing up on camera. This isn't how they'll stay decorated, but this is just stuff that I have laying around. And I think they're so cute. And I don't know if y'all can see, but when you, all my stuff is up here. When you come in our bathroom, then you can see them from like the door, our closets over here. The kids tore the picture out of that. And like the shower, and then that's the sitting room and like, the <laughs> counters over here where I got all my crap. But be sure to subscribe down below. Thank y'all so much for always watching and tuning in and just being a part of my life. I appreciate y'all so much. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next one. I know I never close out videos because sometimes, honestly, when I watch people's videos, it gets so redundant. It's like you're telling me to do the same thing. And I feel like everybody that watches YouTube knows to subscribe if they want to and stuff like that. It's just one of the things that we say, I guess. So I don't always close it out, but when I do, I do. 